Remember what this is about. It's about bringing a family home. Emery Vitali, her dream was for her family to live in this home. Our job is to go in there, build a home, build it safely, build it with quality, and build it quick. At the end, we're going to have the pleasure and the privilege of bringing a family home, a very deserving family. Let's do it. I know John Vitali, and I'm nominating him for this extreme makeover home edition. The police department's like a family, and one of our, when one of our own is hurting, we hurt too. Hi, ABC. We're the Vitali family. I'm John. This is uh, my oldest son, Jack. He'll be four. This is my middle guy, Adrian. He's 28 months. This is Luke. He's uh, 17 months. So John and Anne-Marie Vitale were a young, loving couple. John's a career police officer, been with the force 10 years. Actually works in a program they call Community Outreach, which means he really helps out with the neighborhood and puts out a positive image. He's not afraid to put his life on the line for somebody else, a complete stranger. So John and Anne-Marie bought their first house together. They had a beautiful boy together, then two more beautiful boys. And Anne-Marie was going to stay home and take care of the kids. She's a beautiful, outgoing person. I mean, she, she cared more for everybody else than herself. She always had that smile. Now that they had five in the family, John and Anne-Marie moved in with their parents so they could start working on expanding that small house that they bought. Everything's going smooth. Great. We're going to start working on their new house, their additions, their tear down this, rebuild that. So we were in my wife's parents' house for about two months, and in March of 2004, uh, my wife wasn't feeling that well. Anne-Marie started getting tired all the time, and her skin started bruising, even though she didn't really hurt herself. And right away, you knew something was wrong. I mean, she's my best friend, I know. You know when something's wrong. She went to the doctor and found out she had an advanced form of leukemia. There was a... Uh... You know, there's a big shock. I mean, we, you know, we were terrified and we didn't know what to do. So, she was in the hospital for six or seven weeks getting, you know, heavy duty medication, chemotherapy, and, you know, just uh, trying, to, trying to beat the leukemia. Five months after being diagnosed, Anne Marie died. She was buried on what would have been her 29th birthday. Before she died, Anne-Marie made John promise to keep their house and to raise their children in it. My wife wanted them to grow up there, and I wanted to live those dreams for her to, to move back there. So John and the boys are still staying with the in-laws, while his house sits empty needing repairs. Now all the money they'd saved to fix up the place went into medical bills. So now here I am, raising my three children alone and working full time, uh, you know, and all I want uh, you know, it's just really for my kids to have a better, better life. That's, that's, that's it. There is no way, there is no way that John can do this on his own. And it's very important for them. And I am right. ABC, please help John Vitale. He really needs this. I know Anne-Marie's looking down and she saying, oh, please. So my boys can be raised where I would like them to be. Oh, man. So this is going to be a little different. Um, we're going to go over to Anne Marie's parents' house, pick up John and the kids, put them on the bus, and we'll go check out their old house and find out what we're up against. Guys, are you with me? Yes. Yes. Can we do this? Yes. 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 Let's, Let's do it. Do it. And this has been a completely overwhelming experience for John and his boys. But we're here to make a change in all of that. Oh, wow. Thank you. 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 Thank perfect place for us to be and a perfect family for us to help. Yeah. All right. 
Thanks. Thanks for everything. Love you guys. Oh, okay. You well, we loaded everybody up on the bus. You ready to go on the bus? Yeah. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, hi, then. Oh, hi. And we took a bus ride over to the house that John and Emery bought. All right, everybody on board. Bye bye, bye. 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 One of the amazing things is when we pulled up in front of the house, there was already a crowd gathered outside. Pretty amazing. These guys have heard your story. They care about what happened, and I have no idea how they got here this fast. I've never seen anything like this. This is crazy. You waving? Buddy? Yeah. It's just awesome. I can't even explain it. It's uh, just a good feeling. I have a lot of fan, you know, friends and family and neighbors. This is, was their dream. This is where it was all gonna happen. It's cute. It's adorable. Tiny. So the house as we see it is small. It's in good condition, but it's very small. This is our house. Yes, a very small, empty, kind of spooky house. And I'm sure John has a lot of emotions walking into it because it reminds him of Anne Marie. The house is empty empty except for a couple little things. So I, I saw the one Winnie the Pooh over here. Yeah. And then over here in this bedroom is another Winnie the Pooh. Somebody likes Winnie the Pooh. There's not a lot to save in this house. We gotta save what we can. Yeah. I like the stars. This means a lot. It meant a lot to Anne Marie. And it's so we, painted right on the wall. I think we just cut it out, cut the drywall out and yeah. save it. Anne Marie had this wonderful mural on the wall with moons and stars and a window mm -hmm. frame. And she loved that theme. Whatever we can do to, to, to keep her, her memory alive, and that's what we'll do. Uh, that's really important. Are you ready to go on vacation? Yeah. We'll pilot a limo. Let's get you in there. Here comes Jack. Again, you guys have fun on vacation. Bye and bye. And no snowball fights. When Sal and an army like that pulls up, you know you got nothing to worry about. So, where have you been? I got here as fast as I can. I have a business to run. Well, I'm glad you're here, buddy. I'm glad you're here. Are we ready to do this? Yeah! Remember what this is about. It's about bringing a family home. Anne Marie Vitale, her dream was for her family to live in this home. Our job is to go in there, build a home, build it safely, build it with quality, and build it quick. At the end, we're gonna have the pleasure and the privilege of bringing a family home, a very deserving family. Let's do it. Breakfast sandwiches here. The guys haven't eaten for a while. This will Thank get you, you that a little bit further. Little sandwiches here. Thanks. Little sandwiches. Yo, Sal. Thank you, Paulie. Okay. Building a house in seven days on Long Island takes a lot. So let me give you a little bit of a tour. These are people that are here to help. That right there is a tent where we've got some catering set up. Coffee, water, things that you need to keep going all week. And of course, we're gonna need security. Now what's incredible is that these guys are lining the streets for almost a solid mile. So with this kind of support, we can actually make it happen. You guys are fantastic. Now to the right, you see a house in progress. People, let's go check out the house. So as you can see, we got siding going on. These guys right here are building the block that's going on in front of the house. Excuse me, fella. So right here, you're up close and personal. Check out the sunroom. Amazing. The back here, Paige is actually working on the castle. You know what? Let's get a closer up view of what's happening. Follow me. So that's going to be a four-foot water feature. It's going to be a cascading waterfall. That's going to pour into a moat, into a river that basically goes around the castle, which is going to be where the kids are going to play. It's unbelievable what's happening. Hey, Paige, how's it going? Good, Ty. How are you? I'm good. OK, let's pick back in the gator. I want to show you a few more things. Hang on, people. Let's do our fast from four wheel drive it! Oh yeah! Woo! Man, I love me some four wheeling! I feel the need for some speed!